Now coming to reflection, we had already discussed that it is because of reflection and refraction we are able to see objects. Fine. So when I take a light ray, incident and an object, suppose I have this is an object over here. It can be any object like a glass slab. For example, I will take a thin glass slab. I say the light ray is incident on it. Okay. A part of the light will bounce back. It is very much similar to a rubber ball hitting on a wall. What will happen? It will get bounced back. Okay. So similarly, it may get bounced back. A part of the light. A part of the light will pass through it and a part of the light will come out. These are the three things what will happen. Now the light ray is incident straight over here. It can be incident in a other direction also. Like for example, if I take a light ray. If you see the direction is different for these two light rays. I will say this is first light ray. This is the second light ray. Say light ray from the other source. It is incident in a slanting direction. And the, here this point at which it is incident is called point of incidence. When I consider this is the point of incidence, the similar like a ball, if it is hitting, it will not come back this direction. It will go in a different direction. Okay. So light ray is incident here like this and when it is bounced back, it is bouncing in a different direction. So whatever it is, the bouncing back of light into the same medium, we will call it as reflection. Okay. When I take a glass slab, if I say this can be a translucent material or a transparent material. What is, what is the difference between uh, different types of material with respect to light? We have basically three types of material. One is transparent translucent opaque what will happen if light is incident on a transparent material 100% of the light will pass through it like our glasses okay so this is what we call transparent 100 percent of the light will pass through it translucent a part of the light will pass through only a part of the light will pass through whereas opaque zero percent it will not allow light to pass through it okay this is with respect to passing of light Glass lab may be 100% transparent, uh, it can be transparent or it can be translucent. So what will happen if it is transparent, the light will not re get reflected back like this. It will allow complete passing of light through it. If it is translucent, then a part of the light is reflected, a part of the light is transmitted out coming out and a part of the light is absorbed. This is what will happen for any object. Now let us consider an opaque object. Okay. An opaque object like a sheet. It is not a glass sheet like, like for example an opaque object. A metallic sheet, something like that. A rough metallic sheet or a wooden board, whatever it is. Now what will happen is <clears throat> this 
this light ray and it is incident on it it is bounced back into the same medium now this surface here whatever i am drawing it is smooth surface plane surface now whatever the light is incident if it is completely bounced back then i can call this as a mirror this material i can call it as a mirror so it will be smooth 100% smooth and whatever the light is incident on this particular material that is completely reflected back now this is the incident ray this is the reflected ray and this point here is called point of incidence now if i imagine a perpendicular drawn at the point of incidence we will call it as a normal n stands for normal i say this is the point of incidence i will mark it as o p and let us say q okay so po is the incident ray o is the point of incidence oq is the reflected ray and this material which will allow 100% of light getting reflected back is a mirror and if it is perfectly smooth and plain we can call it as a plane mirror it is a plane mirror okay now if i measure the angle between the incident ray and the normal at the point of incidence this angle we'll call it as angle of incidence denoted by i and here the angle between the normal at the point of incidence and the reflected ray here is called angle of reflection denoted by r okay now there are two laws of reflection the laws of reflection tell that whatever may be the angle of incidence this angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection so if i take one more light ray incident at this angle second one then this will be the angle of incidence similarly the light ray will be reflected in this direction okay and here this will be the angle of reflection any case always the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection whether this is a smooth surface or a rough surface or any kind of surface doesn't matter always this rule is applicable that is angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection always okay now this is one law of reflection the other law of reflection tells that the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal at the point of incidence all lie in a single plane okay so this is the second law when you say it is in one plane imagine that okay one light ray is incident in this direction the light ray is getting reflected incident here the reflected ray will not go like this it will be in the same plane okay you imagine a plane like this so our board is one plane if the light ray is incident this way here at this point of incidence the reflected ray will not come out of the board it lies in the same surface of the board that that is what you mean by the incident ray the normal and the reflected ray at the point of incidence all the three will lie in a single plane okay so these two are the laws of reflection valid at any surface whatever may be the surface the surface may be smooth or rough it can be plane or it can be curved any type of surface always these laws angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection and the incident ray normal at the point of incidence and the reflected ray all lie in a single plane these two laws of reflection are valid
If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.